Hello everyone, welcome to Gospel Works. my name is James and today I'll be doing, well, hopefully without any issues, I'll be doing all the point motors um, and also hopefully the, let's quickly move the camera over a bit, I'll be doing the turntable which I've already painted so it should look all nice. I will point out this is my first turntable so hopefully I won't have many issues. But uh, yes, I've got the turntable kit, uh, well, motor kit here. I've got a little, uh, I think it's a PMD unit, I can't remember. It's uh, just basically a little uh, unit which you can use to make it into a, I uh, can't remember what it's called, no, a controller. So it's basically a little cheap little controller thing. And I figured that might actually work well for uh, the turntable because it's got uh, speed control and it's got back, forward and off so all the things you need for a motor uh, is all the other little bits which I probably won't need anymore because um, I'll be linking it up to the power using this so I can still remove it if I need to and yes I've got all the point motors they're all in the right places so um, just from the top that is just making sure I'm still near the microphone. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's see if I bring one of them closer. Uh, for the point motors, I'll be using well one of these for each one. Uh, this is so I can have a little bit of a modular system. So if one point motor goes, I can unplug it and then just basically replace it if need be and I can't remember where that lived um, <laughs> there we are uh, I've got all the screws ready so that's always good I did have to get a few more screws uh, I've got the wiring I've also got some more of these uh, what was it no solder clips so I can basically just clip it onto wires and then it will just make the connection itself. Uh, I won't be fitting in the actual controls for the point motors yet. I'll just be doing uh, power to each one. Uh, just make sure you can see. I'll be do uh, doing the power so that is if I remember right D and E. I'll be connecting up F which will be done with a separate wire, that's to the uh, frog themselves. Uh, I think it was, let's see, let me have a look. Um, uh, let's see, F's there. A and, a and B are for the actual point motor control, so they'll be uh, soldered in to one of these, but they won't be connected to anything else. And then I uh, see that will be wired in with a uh, return wire. So that will go into the uh, capacitor, the discharge unit, so, uh, which I haven't actually bought enough at the moment. So that's why I can't actually power them. But all the wiring, apart from, no, actually pretty much all the wiring for the point motors will be there. And I'll just pop that there. And uh, like I said I have got the turntable drive manual, so I'll be doing that. And um, yes, uh, there is a few things which I have to sort out. One of them will be if I didn't break, if I didn't break my camera. Um, <laughs> hopefully I cut, cut that out. Uh, I'll be sorting out. Some of these point motors which are a bit too close together because it's just how things ended up. Uh, it's only a couple of them, so it's these ones, them ones. This one has a little bit of, uh, I have to do a little drilling to get that in. And some of them just need a bit locked off at the end. Hopefully that won't affect them too much. So yes, I'll do a brief show you how I'll be soldering them and then I'll get to fitting them off camera so I won't make the video too long so here we are right here we are with the uh, um, point motor in the right place my solder right, soldering iron quite hot 
Um, it's basically the first thing that I'll do is just tin all the relevant um, connections. So not really the best for soldering, but um, oh well. in F first. I think it was F. The weight is that one. There we are. Now question is should I really sort in these wires? Could do or I probably will do. Uh, Say about let's say about there. I'll get that later. <laughs> Slip off the ends. Maybe it's not a good idea to do them all at once, but. Good idea to do it all at once, so it's black. Separate these. Here we go. Now, quickly twist these up. I originally, did try to get some. Six pin connections because these are only five. However, every time I kept trying to order them, they'd either not arrive or for some reason go to Italy. Because I'm still waiting for the other two lots I ordered, so I've decided to get some five pin ones and well, they arrived. So, this is why I've got a separate yellow wire. So, um, yeah, I can basically remove that. It's a bit easier. It's really tin the end, the other ends of the wires, but um, not take too long, really. It's black in. Green. bit more solder. Right. There we go. 
So that is pretty much it all nicely done. Well, let's say nicely, but um, now we should have a look at the other end. Now the power ones will be uh, well, we'll have to decide which way round it is. So that way. Do right on that one. But to be honest, I can actually just um, sort out these separately. I'll sort them out now. Well, let me sort this one out now. Actually, what I need to do is um, take these bits out first. So uh, I'll quickly. Stop for now, then I'll bring you back. Now here we are, while well, the battery lasts, because I do need to charge it up soon. Here are the spade connectors, that's what they're called. And two of these are to power, and one of these is to the return wire. So that's all nice and done. Uh, the other two are for the axle connections to the um, switch, basically. Uh, I'll be connecting them up in a different way, probably using uh, some of these, which I'm going to be using on the uh, what's it frog uh, wire. So, yes, yeah, so that's one done. Uh, 29 left to go. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'll get on get on doing that. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll bring you back once I've fitted them all in and might as well just screw them in at the same time so yes yeah, so that'll save you save you having to watch me do that so it's in a bit so here we are well it's actually been a couple of days since uh, the last clip because um, it does take a little while to do all the point motors I've done most of them apart from the ones all in the awkward corner uh, so I figured I'll do turntable while um, trying to work out how to do them ones. So first things first, um, just be doing the power clip. Uh, it does come with its own clip, however I want to be using uh, these ones because I can just plug it in. Uh, so where's my solder? There's my solder. Soldering iron's already nice and hot. So all I want to do is to put Bit sold on here. Hopefully quickly before it melts anything. There's that one. Uh, the reason I'm doing them on the inside is so I can push these uh, little brass tabs flat, so it's a little bit easier. that one that's the soldering iron done with oh, let me turn that off there we go so yes this is a standard pico uh, turntable kit so it's all painted up quite nicely uh, what I have done underneath is mark which one I wanted to be as black and red because I don't want the polarity to be messed up. So here's the turntable motor kit. Where's my screwdriver? There's one of them. And as far as I can tell, fairly simple to stick this all together. There is actually maybe a motor as well, but uh, I've left that uh, out because I don't want the added weight and it flying around everywhere. Let's put all that there. And while it was in storage, well, I say storage, while it wasn't actually fitted, I've left all these bits attached so I don't lose them. So there we go. This is all the gearing, and here's the actual uh, main gear. Uh, we've also got these yellow things, which I'm not entirely sure what they are, but um, I don't know if they're just some sort of washer or something like that. I may have a go with one. Right, save that and it flies off somewhere else. 
I'll try another one. <laughs> it's falling off the baseboard and it's on my foot. So yeah, so let's just wiggle that on. Yep, so a fair bit amount of movement. And so that looks like a good height. Well, so that's moving fairly freely. And what I want to do now is go on a different side, maybe this. Just trying to work out where to put it, but it's nice. Mm, yeah, that should be out of the way. And what I'll be doing is just drawing some holes where I'll be drilling in. Well, and hopefully this all works. Let's just check the drill bit. That seems about right. Uh, the reason why I'm using a hand drill is because I tend to get more precision with it. So I'm just going to wedge that in between myself and there. So probably actually take this end table bridge off, but never mind. Slowly do it, and it's through. side right Ooh, just about that may work if not I'll have to put the hole somewhere else I may have to put the hole somewhere else oh well <laughs> may not actually be big enough so where's that tool gone I'll bring you back once I've found out the right tool I want right, I actually did manage to find the right tool it's um, whatever this thing is and it seems to go over quite well um, I'll save that it's having a slight bit of problem on that one but otherwise Should just be able to clip it on onto the bottom without losing it. Um, now we'll be taping these wires down. Let's probably do these one at a time. You can leave it there. So I think that's meant to be. That one's in, and just need to find that one. Put you there. No, you can't really see much, but I think it's not all that difficult to kit. Fairly locked in. Uh, what I should have actually done is got a battery. Um, <laughs> uh, let me just press those well, things down a bit more. See, so, yeah, that's that done. Um, I'll quickly pop this in to the actual well and then I'll show you it moving around once I've got a. Uh, D cell battery, so not D cell, 
uh, square battery, you know, 9 volt. So, bring it back a sec. Well, here we are with the more or less completed turntable kit. Um, it is noisy, uh, which is annoying. Um, <laughs> means I won't be likely to use it all that often. Uh, it does somewhat work, though I may need to do a few modifications to the actual turntable because I think mine bows out in the middle, which is annoying. But I say it does work. Um, I will be turning off the mic just so that uh, you won't go deaf because <laughs> I will be going deaf. I'll just give you an example. <laughs> Yeah, very noisy. So I'll be turning off the mic now and hopefully get this to run a little bit. I'll do it now. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best, but um, it'll do for now. So I may need to do some modifications to it. So yeah, there we go. I've made sure that these do conduct electricity properly, and it is working now. So yeah, that works, and that works. So. I've got something wet. Right. Anyway. Uh, so now when you're back to the well, me doing all the point motors. So here we go. Well, I've finally done all the point motors as well now. Uh, well, I say all of them apart from three of them. Uh, these two over here because they're quite close to the base here. Uh, and also one of these at the front here, mainly because it's a bit too close. That's this one. Uh, mainly because it's a bit too close to um, other points so I'll have to do, use my adapters uh, and also and also um, <laughs> rework them because uh, my original design of the adapters didn't quite work so no trial and error uh, but as you can see due to the little um, terrier now going behind me um, yeah my little trains can now run on this layout uh, there's a little bit of a problem in one area, and that's not because of the bit of cork there. Uh, it's mainly because of this point here. Mark my fingers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just mainly due to this point here. It's uh, just a bit finicky in places. It's It may be better when it's actually powered, because at the moment all the points are still manually operated uh, from underneath this time. And there's another point that I need to cut down a little bit more but um yeah other than bits here and pe no bits here and there I can run trains again which I'm very pleased about especially now that I can play with all my little trains especially this little one uh, I did get myself a new green terrier so <laughs> uh, I also got myself a big one but um, uh, that's enough story uh, just wait for it to come back around again <laughs> There it is. As you see, it's uh, other than here. Oh, I don't seem to be happy then. Fine. As I'm saying, you're on camera. You have to decide to behave. Or get yourself way around. But um, other than no, a few niggly bits here and there, which I'll be sorting out in the coming weeks or something like that. Um, yeah, my track is all running in and. I'm very happy. Yeah. Okay. My train's playing up with me again. But um yeah, so this has been James and Gospel Railworks and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um I'll catch you again next time. So if you like the video, subscribe no feel free to like, like, subscribe and comment. That's it.
I haven't done a video in a while, so hey. So yeah. Right, that's half now. And yeah. Can't help getting that one in the sort now. <laughs> so yeah.